Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I want to show you what I got at the show, Miami International Orchid Show. I was there yesterday. Uh, I had a wonderful time. I was not planning on going. Um, I asked you guys what you preferred for me to do, whether go to the show or go to buy supplies. <laughs> and you guys wanted me to go to the show, so I went. Uh, but I, um, I, it was awesome. I did not think that I was going to have such a great time. I did not think that I was going to find so many orchids like I did. Um, now, I was there to get supplies. Um, I did walk around and found a few things that I wanted to bring home with me. So I'm going to share that with you. Um, I have to tell you, I have to go back today uh, right before the end because I have to go pick up um, just a few orchids uh, right before closing time. So, so we'll see. I, I will try to film some. Uh, maybe I'll go live. Um, not sure yet, uh, but I will. I'll keep you posted. So let me start with uh, what I got. So one of my first purchases was this vanilla orchid. Uh, so I got um, actual, the actual vine because I'm going to be attaching it to one of my palm trees. Uh, just let me show you. I'm going to uh, turn this around and show you. So this is what I got. I got it for $20. It's a vanilla vine, a vanilla orchid. And I got it so that I can mount it on one of my palm trees. I got it from Quest Orchids and they're local. They're here in Miami. There's their tag. And it says, let's see, it says 25 somewhere, but I paid $20 and it's going on one of my palms. So after looking around, I decided, and I'm standing here in the back of my yard, I am gonna hang her uh, right here in one of these one of these palms here. I heard that they just love to climb, so they'll make themselves they'll, they'll make their way up the palm tree and down again. Uh, flowers are very fragrant. Now, um, let's see. They did tell me that the flowers um, really don't last that long, or or something about pollinating them and getting the vanilla bean because here the bees do not pollinate. Uh, it's probably not something I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna uh, enjoy enjoy the vanilla orchid. So I don't know a lot about vanilla orchids. This is the first one that I have. Uh, you guys have been recommending I get this for a while, so I did it. Uh, I know that another one you guys want me to get really bad is a plumeria. They had no plumerias at the show. Um, I did look. So <laughs> I'm glad that I ended up with, with the vanilla orchid. So that's gonna be exciting. I am gonna put it here. Uh, so hopefully uh, by the time that I do my next video, it'll be mounted and I can show you what that look like, looks like. Um, now, while I'm out here, before I get down under my terrace and show you the rest of my, of my finds, I'm just going to give you an update on what I did with my cat, Leia. Now, I decided to attach her on my gumbo limbo tree. Uh, Todd gave me two cuttings. Um, so I separated the cuttings and I put one here in this, this little area and I put the other one right over here. So. I've got my two cat Leia's big mama on my gumbo limbo. I have it on the back side. Uh, this way back here, it's not so crowded because when I turn to the front, I mean, I don't even know if that's the front and that's the back, but on this side, you see where I have all those fowls and I have the Sherry baby. It was a, it was a little bit crowded here. So I decided to put her on the other side. Now I decided to put her here just because um, I love to smell them when they bloom and this way they're at my level. My oak tree was just way too, just way too high. So that's why I decided to do that. I'm gonna walk, let's see, I'm gonna walk back and I'm gonna show you where I finally put my dendrobium and then continue with my haul. All right, <clears throat> so the dendrobium, I ended up putting her on this tree here. Uh, it's a pretty big tree for her and it's not in the way of my of my view you guys were um telling me you know i was gonna have an obstructive view but look at how tall this palm is i mean she has definitely lots of room to grow and just hug around that tree and do whatever she wants because she is not gonna interfere with the view of the pool or anything like that like originally i was gonna put her here but i decided just to to put her on that side so that's where my dendrobium ended up. All right, so I got the vanilla orchid and I also I got this beauty. So this is a Hoya that I got yesterday and I am so, so happy I found it in bloom. I mean, look at her pretty flowers. She is very, 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 very fragrant. And this is her tag over here. 
Uh, she is a Hoya Pubia, not even know if I'm saying that right. Uh, she's highly fragrant and she generally blooms um, around October. She needs medium light and she needs to be dry between watering. So those are my, my instructions right there for her. And I am so excited that I got a Hoya in bloom. The ones that I have have not bloomed yet. They're, they're getting ready to, but look at how pretty these, these flowers are. So my first Hoya in bloom, you guys. Very excited. And she's got so many little, little flowers forming. She is packed. I mean, look at this. Look at this one here. It is. It is packed of new flowers ready to come. My Hoyas are doing good also. I am getting some, some soon-to-be flowers too. I just found like three of these. So that should be nice and exciting. Let's see. I, let me see if I get a good, a good view. So that's, that's exciting. All right. So let's keep showing you my haul. <laughs> Here I have my vanilla working on top of me. All right. So this was a gift from Ritter's and they're so nice over there, you guys. I love, love, love Ritter's. Um, so I got a catacetum from Ritter's. And I got another Moneria Millennium Magic Witchcraft. Um, you know, she was so sweet. Uh, she came up to me and gave this as a gift. She says, I don't know when your birthday is, but here, this is my gift for you. And um, I'm so excited. So this is the second um, Witchcraft Magic in my collection that's about to bloom. Mine, I put her up here for now. And look at that. That one's about, about to bloom. So. I'm not, not sure what's going on with these leaves, but, but that one's mine. So, so that's exciting. And let's see over here. And then I got this mesh cage, which is what they called it at the show, for my Vanda. Now, um, I'm going to take this Vanda out of the media and I'm going to attach it on the outside, just like my Renanther is. I'm going to attach it just like that. Uh, and yes, I need to get, um, let's see, a little bit of advice. So Todd, when you watch this video, uh, just let me know. I know you have yours like inside, but this is not very wide. You see the inside and then that little device there goes inside the pot. So this is not really, really wide for me to actually put her in there. I have to put her on the outside. So, you know. I always wait to hear back from um, from you guys and let me know what you recommend. But that uh, Vanda is going there. So like I said, um, for now, I got I got the Hoya, I got the mesh thing, um, the Vanda mesh thing, and I got the vanilla orchid. I feel like I'm forgetting something. And I also got the catacetum from Ritter's. Um, I have to go back today before closing and go get some orchids um, from Smiley. You guys already know which one I'm gonna get. <laughs> uh, I mean, she had so many of those banana orchids. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go back today for some of those. Uh, hopefully, I mean, I told her if I get another one, I wanna get a female because I have a male. Uh, if you guys saw that video, uh, she was explaining to me how, and here's mine, how in the male, this st stoma or whatever that's called is longer, the female is shorter. So I'm gonna go back for um, one of these in the female version. Uh, she just says that they bloom faster, uh, the blooms, they, they get, it gets more blooms and it's more fragrant, go figure. Um, so I do want to add another one uh, to my collection, but I'm going to go back and, and get the female one. And I think um, the reason uh, I need to go today before closing is I think she's going to give me the one that she has uh, in, or sell me the one, uh, the one that, that's already in bloom. And that way she knows for sure that, <laughs> that it's the female, so... I'll be there today. I'll be there this afternoon. If you guys want to see something from there, let me know. I wouldn't mind going live and uh, giving you guys another tour. So that's it. Uh, this was my haul. Uh, didn't do too bad. I mean, I was there for supplies. I went there with my sister. She she went shopping. She's a, she's a beginner. She got some dendrobiums for her trees. Uh, so I didn't get too much. Uh, we'll see what I end up with uh, today. I'll give you updates on that uh, in a in a later video. And that's it, that was my haul. I'm gonna show you one more time this beautiful Cattleya. I think it's already in um, 
she's already in full full bloom so and if I remember you guys asked me for some cat layers that I posted uh, in my video I'll go back to the displays and I will give you guys updates but for now have a wonderful Sunday and I will see you soon bye bye